I'm going to show you how to bulk create content using Canva, ChatGPT, and Google Sheets. It's really quick and easy. Um, basically, we're using Canva Pro. So to do this, keep in mind you do need a Canva Pro account. If you don't have Canva Pro um, and you're needing to bulk create content, then I'd recommend it as it's a great, great business tool. So to get started, I'm going to be repurposing some existing content. Now, if you don't have existing content, you can just jot down some ideas and use that as a launch pad. Um, I'm using a blog on 38 ways to market your band with little to no budget, which is a blog on my website. So here we can see I've got a list of different ways you can market a band. I'm going to jump into ChatGPT and I've already written this blurb to save us a bit of time in this video, but basically I'm giving ChatGPT some priming instructions. So there are some core pillars of prompt engineering that I'm not gonna to go too much into in this, but you need to give it a role. You need to form it into who you want it to be. So I'm saying, I want you to act as a professional copywriter and create four page carousels from each of these topics. So I'm telling it, I need it to be a copywriter right now. I don't need it to do anything else. I need it to be a copywriter. It needs to know what the output should be. Otherwise it'll just spit out whatever it thinks it should be. So I'm telling it very specifically how these posts are structured, why they're structured this way. So I'm saying there should be a title four to five words long. Think ways to market your band online. There will be then four pages for the carousels. Each page of the carousel needs a title, which is a few words long, e.g. user generated content. So we can see here that I'm telling it I'm describing this to it. So imagine chat GPT as a blind person and you need to describe what these templates look like. The title should be descriptive of the overall theme of that page of the carousel. Then I need a brief paragraph, which is informative, but casual. So I'm giving it tone here, which is important. Otherwise it might come off a smart ass, <laughs> you know, it might give you the wrong information. So you want to tell it the tone um, leading to an output similar to encourage fans to record footage stories or take phone snaps at your gigs, give some kind of incentive or reward to people to post photos in your merch and reshare those. That is exactly how I would talk and explain it to someone. So I wanted to use my tone, which is why I'm giving it an example. It needs an example and it needs a model. It needs adjectives on how it should speak and act. Um, otherwise you will get robotic generic speech where it uses the word elevate a hundred times and it blatantly looks AI written. Um, need to, while we're doing this, um, we basically just give it reasoning for it. So AI likes to know why it's doing it, what purpose it has. You know, I gave it a link. So this is the chat GPT that can read links. So if you are using the 3.5 or a version of an AI app that doesn't have internet access, then you'd need to copy paste the whole blog to it. Either way, you still just get the info to it. And now I say there are 38 ideas here. I want you to pick the first and use this to give me an initial sample of you carrying out this task. This is important because you want to correct any issues it has before you ask it to do anything in bulk. Collaborate on my content to provide content formatted correctly for my Canva carousel posts. Then I reiterate, this is what I want you to do. Now, hopefully if I've set it up correctly, we're about to find out if it actually listens to me. So here we go. Now, great. I'll create a carousel sample. Now it's giving me some Embrace social media. I don't love it, but it's not terrible. Title one, platform diversity. Um, each platform has a unique audience. So that's good advice. Engaging content. Again, it's leveraging content marketing, which is important. Um, don't just promote. Again, very good advice. Fan interaction. It's not a one-way street. Again, really good advice. Strategic, hashta strategic hashtags. I might play around with chat GPT and get it to be a bit more authentic, but honestly, we're just doing this for an example. So what I will then do is say, create a carousel title and then create headings for all of these and so on and so forth. And I did tweak the text a little bit, but not so much because we're just using this as an example. So here we are, we have our first carousel post. Now what we want to do is export this as a CSV. So this is a comma separated document. So here we go. See, uh, now I've got my music marketing carousel posts. I'm just going to go ahead and open this one up. So 
Now we want to go in here on Canva and we go bulk create. Now I've already filmed a video on this, but I thought I'd do one for carousel posts as well, because this is actually probably more handy because carousels are a lot of work. So this is why I'm doing a carousel specific one. Now what we want to do is connect the data. So we go find the area that we want to connect it up. We want to link that area of the template to the title. So we find our carousel title and here we go. It's basically, if you've ever done a mail merge, in Microsoft Word or used any of those sort of old school apps. It's basically the same thing. It's just merging the data or giving it a reference point. So now we just keep doing that. Now we go page one title. Awesome. Here we go is connect data, page one content. And this is as easy as it needs to be really page two title. And we just keep doing that. So I'll pause this so that I can work away at it and show you the finished result. Alrighty, so now we have completely finished this. So when we have finished linking them all up, it'll look something like this. I'll just show you. So then we've got all of these little curly brackets and the curly brackets basically just indicate that that is the name of the column that the data source is bringing it from. So you can see here, it matches up. So they need to match up with an area on the design for it to pull everything underneath that in. Now, if we had more than one, it would bring up heaps. For now, I'm just going to do one, but what you can actually do is you can go back and you can prompt it to do number two and you can say, all right, I would like you to do the same for number two on the list in the 38 ways to market article. Now it'll give me another one. And then we just put that, we transpose that into our spreadsheet and bam, we have a second one. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well do it. So I've already started doing it. We can then show you how it creates multiple carousels. So I could do my entire 38 articles. Like I could do 38 carousels of four slides each in 10 minutes using this method, which is why it's so phenomenal. And it honestly, you can reuse this entire structure and you can copy this spreadsheet into different things. So I'm actually going to repurpose this technique across multiple different carousel structures, some for business, some for music. So you can use it for any business. If you're a social media manager, it's such a powerful, really, really cool um, skill to have. So. Um, I'm just going to keep going and do all of these. All right. I've added a few more to my spreadsheet. As we can see here, I got a little bit sick of doing it after about seven and decided that that was enough <laughs> for now, just to show the example of how it works. So I've got all my data sources linked to these little template triggers. So Now it should come up looking like this. We've actually got all of this here. Generate 11 designs. Now what this is actually going to do is pop it up into a new window. So I'll just click that button and we watch the magic happen. Once you do this, you will never go back to manually copying and pasting. You might still need to do a little bit of editing and fiddling, but you'll see it comes up here saying bulk one music marketing carousel. So that just lets you know that it's one of your bulk uploads. Now, some of these won't be formatted perfectly. You can specify the exact word count that makes it a bit easier, but here we go. Here is 11 carousels done in only a few minutes. And this is from content that I already had. So this is the easiest and the quickest way to get your carousel content batched and all I want to do is maybe just change things a little so they fit nicer. So, you know, just a little bit of visual editing goes a long way. So sometimes I might just shuffle things around so that they fit a little better if I don't want to cut the content out completely. So, you know, just a little bit of editing maybe. It doesn't need to be perfect, honestly. So obviously there's been a duplication there. I think I messed up one of the... Yeah, see, 
I've accidentally done that. That's actually my fault. <laughs> so this is why you need to proofread. Don't expect that this process will just mean you can forget about it. Maybe if you have your prompting down, you give ChatGPT extremely precise instructions, like I want no more than 200 characters, that will perfectly fit in a section. You know, if you really want to be meticulous, you need to tell ChatGPT, I want you to be meticulous. I don't want repeated words or headings throughout any of these, and it will avoid any repetitiveness. But and again, you, you might need to just adjust these so that they look a bit nicer, so they fit a bit better, just so that it displays nicer. But ultimately, this is a really, really quick way to get things batched.